Hey guys, so Rudy Alpha Investments is very anti-mystery product. A mystery booster pack, right? Or mystery booster box. Uh, yet he himself has sold a mystery booster box for over $700. And my opinion on this product is why not? You know, as soon as I got out, I'll tell you exactly why I got out. My dis my distributor pricing was higher than Amazon. So I asked my distributor, okay, so if your price is higher on anything Wizard of the Coast, which is also Dungeons and Dragons, why would I buy from you? What What is the point of having you here if you can't get me product cheaper than it is on Amazon or now on a secret layer? And he, he kind of answered me that question and I said, okay, well, I worked so hard to get a distributor now, the distributor for Pokemon is the same person, and I have still kept them for Pokemon. We're still opening the newest Pokemon sets. But what's the point if your price is no longer good? And this is the same thing I asked about Alpha Investment. He's no longer the lowest price point. His fans will tell me all oh, the mystery convention box isn't worth it and that... They tried to assign a value of $80 to 24 draft boosters. No way. No way. Not when it's Modern Horizons 2. Not when it's Dominaria Remastered. I doubt you can get that 24 random chaos packs. And then they assign, oh, the Mox uh, Opal is only going to, the Mox Opal series drops only going to be more $50. I mean, they're simping real hard for Rudy Chan. So I want to dispel everything. Um, they're saying, oh, Rudy Chan has all these uh, embezzled dices, and they have a value to it. Just because it's a taco does, and that no one wants doesn't mean that it hasn't sold before. You can look at eBay last sold and figure out what is the price of a dice. What is the price of a pin? Now, there's not much volume because there's not much demand for this particular product. So... I'm going to read you a discussion that I had with, he used to be one of Rudy Chan's biggest fans, and he's actually had dinner, dinner with Rudy Chan before. So he's met Rudy Chan in person, and um, let's just read what he has to say. This kind of stuff makes me wonder who Rudy and Anthony's actual customers are. Are they only targeting like the top 1% of income earners? Even people making 150000 plus can't seem to figure it out with this Bidenomics crap. And then he sends an article about economic divide that is widening. Almost a almost a third of Americans earning 150000 a year or more say that they're living paycheck to paycheck and many rely on the credit cards to close the gap. So if you're making $150,000 a year, you're still living paycheck to paycheck, my friends. Because uh, the economy is Bidenomics. Um, who is Rudy selling this crap to? If someone making that much has a 33% chance to have their life turned upside down if their next paycheck doesn't come in, what does that mean for Rudy's patrons? Most of who make nowhere near that. And he sold them a $699 box of BS. And I said, oh, some bought four boxes, $2,800. So there is a, a couple on YouTube, and they're very proud. They tried to make a YouTube channel. They haven't posted in four months because they ran out of money. I mean, they spent $2,800 buying four boxes of this. For $2,800, you can buy what? How many of these? I don't know. Some insane amount. Well, it's a thousand, so you can buy four, eight. You can buy, no, 10? Yeah, 10 is 2,500. Wow. Holy moly, guys, you can buy 11 of these things and have the ability to open as many of these products as you want. And I guarantee you will get more views, more everything, subscribers, if you just simply bought 11 or 12 of these items and just open them randomly. Modern Horizons 2 is fun to open. Dominia Remastered is a fun set, though, but this is a pretty diverse set. It reminds me a lot of the Walmart mystery boxes, but it's cheaper. And people think, oh, it's not a good deal. I mean, can you math? 
They're saying Rudy Chan's $699 box is a good deal because he has exclusive dice and pins and stuff like this. And they're saying this is a bad deal because why? Why is this a bad deal? I mean, I look at it and I say, you know what? Hey, it's got a little bit mixed. This is like, uh, I mean, this will get this. This is going to get much more views than Rudy Chan's $700 box of MetaZoo. Um, and then he said, wow, and probably financed it on a credit card, to be honest. So effectively paid even more than that. I just checked some stats. Only 25% of the people make over $80,000 based on 2021 and 2022 data. Only 10% make more than $135,000. And apparently even a lot of them are in debt. Rudy has to know with his finance background, he's not doing a people a favor, selling them the crap he sells them. Not that much different than selling alcohol to a drunk or cigarettes to someone who wants to stop smoking. I said, oh, he knows. He targets them. Check out how many people who bought the 6.9 have no other videos. Which is Cynthia's goal, by the way, to get people addicted to continuously spending on MTG, even if they can't afford it. So he wants to put the equivalent of nicotine into these products. Laugh out loud, okay, I will. The 6.9 videos are a good indicator of who the buyers are. They are all broke people who appear super poor and uneducated, and you can watch them. Haha, <laughs> agree. You can watch the people opening the $700. $700 is a shit ton of magic product, my guy. And they're not, they're getting effing Meta Zoo Play. Do you know how much a Rudy Meta Zoo Playmat sells for right now? Go on eBay complete. It's five bucks. So after you're done selling it, you might get like two bucks. So how in the world is this product not a good buy compared to Alpha Investment 6.9? Oh, they're dumping boosters on the. My dude, you literally can buy three of these. For the for almost similar price to one of these, and I'm going to show you the price because like people will always because I understand why he did the uh, bespoke you know dice and oh no one has this dice it's a one of one you know I, I get it you know it's it's things that card people do it's things that repacks and mystery boxes do they want to give you exclusive items that you think are just rare. Look at his signature. This is how long he took signing the card. Is this even his signature? Like, how is this his signature? Whose signature is this? Is this the creator of the game? Is this here's Who cares? Right? I mean, you couldn't even authenticate the signature because it, it looks nothing like Alpha Investment or Rudy Chan or maybe the creator of the game. Right? I mean... And the, and the product, the other product that he gives you, like, the, it's just not good product, man. Like, would you rather have a Mox Opal and a Soul Ring and a Mox Tandelite? I didn't even know what Mox Tandelite was until I saw the pro. A Relentless Rat. No, you would rather much have, much have that secret layer than this. They literally took his idea and said, you know what? Rudy's just shitting on all his patrons, right? We can do a better job. Look, this is, this is sold. These pins, and there's no dice that way, but pins and box. The pins sell for 50 bucks, or best offer. Okay, that's the value of the pins. Would I rather have these pins or the Mox Opal? I, give me the Mox Opal. Give me the blanking Opal. And then give me the tan line. Give me a soul ring. Like, this is absurd. I mean, I hope people realize that Wizard of Coast now is a secondary market. They see Rudy Chan and they see how much he's fleecing everybody and they say we can do better. We can make a cheaper product. We can make a product three times as cheap, ten times as better, and it'll only be magic. You don't have to worry about getting ten MetaZoo playmats worth nothing. No, if you seriously don't believe me, go on eBay right now, search complete. You have to search complete. I know a lot of you guys don't know that in Rudy Chan language. It's so interesting Rudy Chan has never taught you guys how to search a sold on eBay. Only best offer. Best buy it now. Jesus. <laughs> so, like, I, I swear, eventually these people, when they go to sell it, they're going to go broke. That's like what everyone, like, I have like a, a funny thing, and we, we talk on Facebook, and it's really funny. And we watch these videos. All I mean, we're the only one watching these 6.9 videos, and they're hilarious to look at. 
please give them a view and tell me that's a good deal. Tell me you'd rather have that box of $700 than this box of $250.